out of here, eh? Stinks the same as every other squat I've robbed this past year. Oi, oi. Why the long face? You fallen in love? <laughs> With your blouse. You're welcome to Nassau, gents. Everyone is that does their fair share. Fair share? What is this, a fucking monastery? <clears throat> we was uh, led to believe that Nassau was a place where men did as they pleased. Safe keeping others from doing the same. Aye. Captain Thatch, as I live and breathe. What is this magnificent muzzle you cultivate? Why fly a black flag when a black beard will do? What brings you two gents this far north? The word is, Cuban governor himself is fixing to receive a mess of gold from a nearby fort. Until then, it's just sitting there, itching to be took. Governor Torres himself, eh? Sounds promising. Welcome to Nassau, Captain Vane. Mr. Rackham. Now, uh, where can a man find uh, a bit of rough? Do you know what I mean? So, what'll you do with your share of the gold we take from Governor Torres? Return to Africa, prince among men. I cannot return to a place I've never been. I was born in Trinidad, a slave from my first breath. Yeah. Well, wouldn't you feel, I don't know, more welcome there? As you might feel more welcome in Paris. Fair point. <laughs> With this skin and this voice, where can I go in the world and feel at ease? This country here is my best chance. This country called Jackdaw, where I know the names of all citizens and they know mine, and we work together. Not always out of love, but to keep our country afloat. I understand thee. Let's take her then. For the citizens of Jackdaw!
tops. Green, short north sail. Bring it all, sir. Come and tight. And for all maids, let's move. Man your stairs, we trim too. Loose all and trim sharp to the wind. And for all aloft, man your sheets. Ghost the royals and tops. Main mast, bring in the top halyards. Pull! Pull down and clue up! Pull hearty, lads! Furl those mains! Your Excellency. I'd got word you might be here. I know your face, pirate. But your name was borrowed the last time you spoke. Ah, yes, I recall. Mr. Duncan Walpole. I missed that one. So, what's a Templar Grand Master doing so far from his Castillo? I'd rather not say. And I'd rather not cut your lips off and feed them to you. Two years ago, we offered a reward for the sage's recapture. Today, someone claims to have found him. His gold is his ransom. Who found him? A slaver by the name of Lawrence Prince. He lives in Kingston. We like this story, Torrance. And we want to help you finish it. But we're going to do it our way, using you and your gold. Here's how it goes. Torres meets with Prince, carrying a portion of the ransom, saying the rest is close behind. When we see the Sage, you bring in the rest of the gold, make the swap, and get out. I'll be watching all from close by. No, Kimmer, you run this scheme alone, at the risk of losing the faith of your crew. It makes me ill to think of you bartering with that wretched slaver. Come on, mate. Once we have the Sage, we'll all be rich. Not if young Master Kid gets to him first. Kid? Jesus. That lad's here to kill him. Edward! What the hell are you doing here? I'm tailing these men to the Sage. Can you hold off till he appears? The Sage is here. Aye. Right. And Prince is leading us straight to me. All right, Jesus. I'll stay in my room for a time, but I'm not long. Let's go down. No need to be 
Boss. They should ship him to Bedlam. since our last meeting, Senor Prince. A year? Near 18 months. You first described this Roberts fellow to me in November of 1715. Hey. Ah, see. Much has changed in that short time. None call me governor, for instance, for I quit that post last year. Ah, I was not aware. So many churches in Kingston. Have the English at last taken to converting their slaves to the Christian faith? Ha! Convert them? God knows, Taris. There's none here so foolish as them. Foolish? How do you mean? Is it not a sin to enslave a fellow Christian? Therefore, to transmute a slave's soul from animal to man would be tantamount to inviting one's cattle to the dinner table. Forgive my impatience, but how far is it yet? We are nearly there. and face corporal punishment like a man. Why act like a man now? Well, you have denied me that right for 30 years. I find your bearing appalling, Prince. I believe all thinking, feeling men deserve respect and opportunity. Ah, you Spaniards. Your long ties to the Moors have diluted your blood and softened your hearts. This is not to say I believe in the natural equality of all races or sexes. Truly, men talent and intelligence should lead, but there is no true profit to be gained by the practice of slavery. In the short term, it makes us money, see, but in the long term, it will render us the victims of our own success. Ah, but you and I, sir, old as we are, will not live to see that unfortunate day. So why bother? Virtue, if nothing else. Virtue? Oh, Torres. I have no wish to waste my day chattering about slaves and their pitiable condition. Let us conclude this transaction, then celebrate their friends. Other stories about you, Portia. You were a governor in Florida for a time. See, si, see. Si. I am one of a number of civil servants in my family, a long line of politicians. I have always toyed with the idea of entering politics myself. Only I feel I have too much money and not enough. Speaking of stories, Prince, I've heard it said you were with him. Speaking of stories, Prince, 
I've heard it said you were with Henry Morgan the day he sacked Panama. 1671, was it? Oh, it's all true, yes. But let us not overesteem the honors forged and won on the battlefield. That skirmish was a deadly one and a tremendous waste of coin and resources. It wasn't until many years after that I sheared my sword in favor of a far safer and yet more profitable venture. Capital and resources, that's where money is made. And sir, let me tell you, honor bought is more enjoyable than honor won, if a touch less permanent. I grow tired of this walk. We must be close. Yes, just here. We must be on equal footing, you see. I don't trust Templars any more than you must trust me. Well, if I had known you were so skittish, I'd have brought you a bouquet of flowers. Oh, I don't know why I bother. For the money, I suppose. The vast sums of money. You, um... You say you came alone, Horace? Not alone, but certainly without colleagues. I took passage aboard a British merchant's brig. Ah. Now's the time! Oh. Not until we see the sage. Here's a quiet spot. I'll see the money. This is a portion of the ransom. The rest is close at hand. It pains me to traffic someone of my own race for profit, Mr. Torres. Tell me again. What has this Roberts fellow done to upset you? Is this some form of Protestant piety I'm not familiar with? Perhaps another day. What? Next time, see to it that we are not followed! Deal with this! My kill, Kenway. For a better cause. Work this together! You have your chance! Stay your blade, kid! Wait! Damn you, old strats! Keep your natty hands off me! I can't let you kill those men, kid. Not until I found the sage. I've been stalking that pig for a week now, charting his moves, and here I find not one but two of my targets, and you robbed me of both. Patience, man. You have your kills. When I locate the sage, you're helping me take Brins. Got that!
wouldn't you prefer meeting in a pub? I came to Kingston chasing a target. Getting pissed ain't a priority. We could work together on this, you know. It's Lawrence Prince you're after. I want his prisoner. We're after the sage as well, Edward. Careful who you cross. May the best man win. There's guards patrolling that property from end to end. Looks to me like they use bells to signal trouble. See there? We'll want to disable those before pushing too far. With so many men about, we can't rely on stealth alone, so... I'll do what I can to distract and draw their attention. Giving you a chance to cut them down. Ready? Your name's not James, is it? Not most days. Come on. If you see Prince before I do, kill him, and there'll be a bit of coin in it for you. All right. Damn. Bad. Hey, doesn't the Spanish tell them to come up here for a visit? Torres. You didn't hear what happened. He was attacked by a couple of brigands on his way here. Buccaneers or the like. A nasty business. Jesus. You're right. Slipped away from the rival. Prince ain't too happy neither. Those! I'll enjoy this. Ah! I've got a deadline on it. You're in my sight, sweetheart. Ah! I've got a deadline. She's Catholic. I didn't know the Pope was.
Any last words? <laughs> been shot. I need aid. Christ, Thompson, look at her. She's hurt. Dreadfully, sir. I'm poorly. All right. I'm faint. Take an arm, lass. Bless you, lads. Those goddamn eyes on the cane, all right? Look up once more and it'll be the last damn thing you ever see. No problem here, sir. I'm working as best I can. Put your back into it, mongrel. <sighs> We're no bloody duperies. Stop <laughs> now! <laughs> Alarm! Help me, damn it! I've got a clear got shot! Clear shot. Come on. Keep him in sight!
You! Come on, then! over me like a leering crow to see an old man suffer you've caused no small portion of suffering yourself mr prince retribution i suppose you absurd cutthroats and your precious philosophy you live in the world but you cannot make it move you mistake my motive old man i'm only after a bit of coin <laughs> as was i lad as was i I found your man! I remember you. The Templar from Havana. I'm no Templar, mate. That was just a ruse. We've come here to save your ass from this slaver. Save me? I work for Mr. Prince. Well, then he's a poor man to call master. He meant to sell you out to the Templars. Oh, you can't trust anyone, it seems. <laughs>
Lost your man again, did you? Aye. Roberts is a devil with a queer aversion to kindness. I suppose that's two men I've lost today. So, what's your real name, lass? Mary Reed to my mum. And them I call friends. But not a word of it to anyone. Or I'll unman you as well. <laughs>